Hello and welcome to this week's episode of... My name's Kai. And my name is Fraser. And this week is the community episode, which means you guys have sent us questions in on our Twitter at Stuck in a Podcast. If you want to go and follow us and see our next month's submissions. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled a lot with that. I don't know why. Uh. And first question here is from Dakota um, saying, how long do you think you'll be doing the podcast for? Well, funny you should say that. This is the last episode. Thanks for listening, everyone. See you next time. Bitch. Silence is too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people have all, everyone's gone by this point. I actually yeah. think we were being serious, even though it still says like 38 minutes left or whatever, you know? You'll just see the viewership graph plummet at that point. I like, like how we make this joke, they there's no graph, is there? <laughs> no, but there is actually. Is there? You can see audience retention at different points in the podcast. Oh, wow. So we've really just lost everyone for once. So we're just going right to see it like, what, one and a half minutes, two minutes? Just going to see... Yep, and there's going to be like the one or two people that actually did stay, knowing that we've been not serious. Thanks, guys. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, for real, though, Dakota has uh, put more questions in saying, how long do you guys think you will continue making YouTube videos slash streaming? That's a I'll good question. Go I'll let you go as, first. As long as I enjoy it. Um, yeah. I enjoy streaming. Um, I mean, it's evident that at some point I started dying out of making Minecraft videos. So I've stopped making Minecraft videos and like it, there's the evidence right there. I stopped enjoying it. So I stopped doing it. So as long as I continue enjoying it, then the, the content's still going to carry on coming. Good answer. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's, I mean, as soon as I like, same as you, as soon as I stop enjoying it, then I'll stop doing it. Um, if I completely run out of ideas, if I die, which we'll hope that's not one. Bloody <laughs> hell, that's an option, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and I think the biggest thing is... Well, it's not like is... you can carry on if you're dead. Well, yeah, exactly. So I, that does answer the question, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, and the other one, I guess, is as soon as I stop earning enough, I guess. Because seeing it is actually, like, part of my job. As soon yeah. as people stop watching and I stop earning, then I'll probably stop as well. Unless I think of something really good to do as well as that. Or I get a really good job in music that I do want to do eventually. Yeah, I was going to say, you're pretty close to probably breaking out and making it somewhere in the music industry. I mean, oh, you've got your bloody music corporations jealous of your copyright on Twitter and all that. That's true. That's true. So you're clearly doing something, comments right? on that every day saying, what is happening with that? Yeah. So, who knows? It's been three months by the time this is out pretty much so that's uh, fingers crossed it'll be soon if ever yeah so i guess simple answers are as soon as people stop watching uh as soon as we don't make money from it <laughs> and if we I mean, I don't make it. a lot of money as it is. It's it's more of like a side thing for me so for me it's if i enjoy, if i stop enjoying it then goodbye yeah but like i enjoy it yeah, I enjoy it as well at the moment. It's very fun. Yeah. Hi. Cool. Well, thanks, Dakota. Good. Good first question. And for, for the, uh, just to go back over the how long do you think you're doing the podcast thing. Uh, again, with that, there's no set end date. Um, so it'll be as long as we carry on enjoying it. Yeah, as soon as we stop, then I guess we'll start going on a decline and probably work out a final date. <laughs> or we'll stagger it. So it could potentially be like once every two weeks, for example. But, and then once you know, every we... month, and then once every year. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it will be like that podcast every where decade. every single year, um, around Christmas time, they do an annual review of Paul Blatt's Markup. Yep, we could do that. That is a real podcast. That's what we got to look forward to, everyone. So get ready for your uh, annual Paul Blatt's Markup reviews, but we'll replace it with something else like Madagascar Escape to Africa. Oh, uh, is that the first one? That's the second one. Oh, I, I prefer... I don't know, I, I did like... It's I got the two in the name. It's, it's, it's Escape 
and then the number two, and then Africa. Uh, I thought they went to Africa in the first one. No, well, Madagascar is technically kind of Africa, isn't it? It's, it's there. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I never New watched York the Zoo. second one. I think, actually, that's a lie. I did watch the second one. Well, I hope but so. I only remember the first one. Manny! <laughs> <laughs> like one of the only anyway, ones that i remember second question from sherry you ever honor bring me on the podcast honor are we ever gonna are we ever, are we ever honor gonna bring it what <laughs> are we ever gonna bring her on the podcast i mean we can do i wanna that'll be a good idea yeah, to be honest let's get her on get a topic get sherry on it and uh you'll be there for ages get it'll be the first two stuff. hour episode of uh the podcast yeah get uh okay. some tattoo stuff in yeah. Yeah, could be good. So, yeah, the answer is probably yes. Yeah. I mean, she I mean, we st- <laughs> No, this is the first time. So... So, uh, yeah, we, we could easily do it. We've brought on Tom and Aiden before. I've brought on Nicola before as well. So we've had three guests. Yeah. Sherry can be number four, or if it's in the future, number whatever. Yeah, number 976. Bloody hell, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna talk? In, are we gonna turn this like a chat show or something? Oh, can you imagine? We're gonna imagine? be next James Corden's late be? night show. Oh, see, I was gonna say Jimmy Fallon, but I do like James Corden a bit more. Yeah, James Corden is the only one that kind of sits with us in the UK. Other than that, Jimmy Fallon, he's just kind of there. Yeah, like everyone in the UK kind of knows who Jimmy Fallon is. Um, Who's the other guy? Because um, th- there's Jimmy Fallon, and then there's someone else who I get confused with. Uh, Jimmy, it's Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, that's it. I get that's the two it. of them Jimmy confused Kimmel. all the time. I do like Jimmy Kimmel as well, to be fair. I, I, I'd yeah. say they're my they're my three tops, you know? That's the only ones I know, to be honest. Oh, there's Ellen as well. That's the fourth. I don't Chat really like hosts. Ellen that much, to be honest. I don't mind her, but I just don't really like... I don't know. I feel like it's a... I don't know. I just feel like it's a bit annoying, you know? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like, the audience are like... To everything. <laughs> well, I mean, everything with Ellen is just overhyped. Oh, yeah, I, I say overhyped, as in that is the format, not me going. Oh, it's yeah, so yeah, overrated. Yeah. I, I don't mind her as a person, obviously, but it's just I don't really like the show. No, that's fair play. Unless she says, uh, "Do you want to come on?" Then uh, yes. <laughs> so yeah, Sherry, you're booked on um, Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel and J- James uh, Corden. James Corden. Yeah. Yep. See you next week, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your question as well appreciate it yes uh next one here is from chloe is there a game you've always wanted to play but never got round to playing oh probably <laughs> yeah i can't think of a title right now actually i can um because it's one of those where you know when you kind of look at a game you judge it by its cover and you're like yeah not really my thing but yeah. you've never really given it a try yeah five nights at freddy's was that for me see it's good but it's very repetitive it's, it's a good game to challenge yourself you know so like try and yeah. beat all five nights and then the, the hardest night which is the 2020 20, 20, one, which is right insane mode basically to the point where i think it took markiplier 17 hours to do oh my god what's the so i i yeah. think it's one that's definitely good to play but it's hard to play well this is it like i've always judged the book by its cover i've always looked at people playing it and as you said it's repetitive that's yeah. what i've got from it that's the general gist you sit in a booth you look around are they coming uh, I, no I do, I do say it's repetitive the first always on the first night it's the easiest night obviously because there's not really oh, much yeah, of happening course. But then more stuff gets added in over the next, like, four nights after that. So the yeah. last night, obviously, you've got everything going. The second night, you've got maybe three out of eight going, for example. Yeah. It's, um, it's the same thing over and over again, Yeah, basically. But it just yeah. gets a little bit harder. So that was that for me, because I'd only gone off of, like, looking at the game through videos. And um, I think you even did one, didn't you? you? You did, like, a stream on it. What, on the VR one? On the VR one. I did, I did. Yeah, so like I'd watch that and I just thought, I don't get it. I don't get the hype. But, but, there was a cracking deal <laughs> that happened over the weekend in the Nintendo Switch store. There was a uh, a pricing glitch 
where in the Switzerland store, it was listed for 0.42, a, a CHF, I don't know what CHF is, uh, Swedish, which basi- no, basically converts pounds? basically converts to 36, 37p. So I paid 37p for a £26.99 game. Um, and now I have it. It's downloaded. I just need to play it. So now I can finally give it a go see, and see what all the fuss is about. One, it's, that's a VR game, you know? So I'm really curious how they're going to have that pulled off in the Switch. Yeah. I had um, a quick look. Like, I started the game once it had downloaded, yeah. but I didn't play anything. And it looks like, to look around, it's just like you're holding... It, it, it looks like similar to how the original game worked in terms of you look left, right, up, down, um, and the camera shifts that way. Right. If that makes sense. I mean, it probably makes more sense to you than me, but it yeah, looks like the original games. Right, okay. I, I, I guess I'll find out at some point. I'm going to stream it at some point. Aye, so, aye. Um, yeah, See, that's, follow that's me on Twitch, follow me that. on YouTube. I was going to say, I, I've been tempted to do like a stream on the original games, try and complete them. Oh, yeah. Um, I would like to give the VR one another go eventually. Um, but it's just the you refunded it, didn't you? Up. I did, I did, because <laughs> it, it I I didn't refund it because obviously you can. I refunded it because it was hard in this room because right, yeah. you have to have your senses in a certain place, and obviously I don't have them in the best place, and yep. it kept putting me out of the range of trying to be able to do something. So yeah, that's the reason I refunded it because I well, couldn't play it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, once I'm in my new place, I'll happily give it another shot. What about you then? Is there any game that you've wanted to play but never got around to playing? Yeah, and you'll probably be a bit shocked about this one. I think I might have said it before. Um, I've never played a Zelda game. Okay, no, I I can get behind that because before Breath of the Wild, I never really properly played a Zelda game. Breath of the Wild was my first proper Zelda game that I'd sat down, played, and I've almost completed still. I, I um, almost bought it today, Breath of the Wild. Ah, it's worth it. I'd recommend um, it, to be honest. Instead, I bought Super Mario Odyssey again. <laughs> Fair enough. Other people were chatting about that in the stream today, saying, oh yeah, it's quite good. And, you need um, to get that. It's really good. I might. It is really good. If you want it cheaper, there's a guy on eBay at the moment who's bulk bought a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. And you can get an extra 8% off with a code. Not bad. Sorry. Wait, so how much oh. did you pay for it then? One. Oh, you don't know that. Okay, she doesn't know the code. So <laughs> instead of um, what was it? Instead, of, let me have a look how much I bought it for. Instead of forty four ninety nine, yeah, I bought it for forty one pound something. Not bad. Uh, actually, I say that on on Amazon, it's sixty pounds. Not bad. Second hand, they're going for about forty pounds as well. So forty one pounds thirty new thirty nine brand new. Not bad. Yeah, that's that's not a bad deal there. Um, and it is a really good game as well. Like you'll 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 love it. I might have to give it a go and then pick it up at yeah, some point. You definitely should. Wait until I get paid and have a look at it, maybe. Aye aye aye. Cool. Should. So yeah, Zelda for me. Five Nights at Freddy's for you. Good question, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. Thank you very much. Oh, then again, she did also say, if you could pick up a new skill immediately, what would it be? Quick answer for me. All right, love to do art. Love to be good at it. There you go. Uh, Other instruments. Fair enough. (laughs) Neve asked the question saying, are either of you related or distantly related to somebody famous? Oh, no. (laughs) I haven't thought about this. I probably should have thought about this before. But... I want to hear your answer. It sounds like you got a yes. You know what I'm going to say, because what does my dad do all the time? Oh, God, here we go, yeah. He, he, My dad's very into ancestry, and he's gone back a long way, and it takes us back to, like, kings and whatnot, apparently. To oh, the point my where God. It takes you back to, like, I think it's, like, Henry the Sixth or Henry the Eighth and uh, whatever else, and even oh, further right, than that, yep. you get, like, Elizabeth the First and stuff. Not no, that's further, that's closer to now. Uh, you get like all these things from like the eight, like eight hundred, uh, AD and whatnot, and it's like oh, and I'm really not that into it. Yeah. Um, just because I'm really not into like much of history sort of stuff at this current moment in time, it's nothing I'm too interested in. Um, 
but yeah, like kings and queens apparently. <laughs> so you are a very very distant royal descendant. Yeah, that's me. Oh, Kai Royal Best. Otherwise, um, our great, I think it's our my my great great aunt and our uncle or something like that, um, did like all the uh, furs and stuff for the royal family back in. All right. Whatever year, but they were German, so that's that's all I really know. Fair enough. I haven't looked that much. How about you? No. <laughs> I can't think of anything. I've had, I've had thought of like right. What's on my mum's side? No, no, nothing there. Okay. What's on my dad's side? No, nothing there. Okay. What about my mum's brother's side? No. What about my dad's brother's? Side? You know that sort of thing. I've had. Yeah. I've just had a thought. No, I don't think so. It's always a case of I know plenty of people who know famous people. Yeah. But I don't think I'm related to anyone that's remotely famous. That's fair. That's fair. So no, I got another one. Ne- yep. <laughs> um, my dad's brother uh-huh. used to be uh, headmaster of Ravensbourne University for uh, film and whatnot. Right. And who's the guy in the side men that begins with a Z? Is it Zerka? Zerka, Josh. Yeah, that's him. Um, oh, why not? You're gonna say yeah. Yeah, he taught. He taught him in university. And he's taught like a bunch of other people, and he gave the advice to kind of push his YouTube stuff or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, fair play. That's quite a good one. Mm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and then there's also oh, nice quick one at the end here. If you're only able to ever use one sense, as in hearing, taste, sight, touch. Oh, what's the fifth one? There's five senses, isn't there? Smell. Smell. That's it. If you're only ever to be able to use one, yep. what would it be? Sight. Sight, yeah. Don't want to be blind. Don't want to see darkness forever. I want to know what I'm eating. Don't, I don't really care if, I, if it smells bad or tastes bad. Yeah. If I can't, you know, if I can't find that out, it's fine. If I can't hear it, what well, a sign language. And vibrations. Vibrations as well. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, then again... That's another sense, isn't it? Feel, touch. No, you lose touch. It would just be sight. Yeah, but you'd see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd see an earthquake, but <laughs> you might not feel it. I mean, that's a bonus, really, isn't it? You just really, see people it? falling to the floor, and then you fall to the floor, and you're just like, sap and deer, then! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, you lose a lot You you lose a lot by, like, hearing and whatnot and touch. Like, you'll lose music, you'll lose, well, everything, basically. Yeah. But to be able to not see, that's probably the worst thing, really, in my opinion. I think sight is the most productive sense. Yeah. With touch being second place. Oh, no. Yeah, probably touch being second place. Tied with hearing. I mean, hearing you can get fixed. That's Yeah, that's true. Sight you can't. You can to an extent, but you can't. I guess it's the same with volume, really. Well, touch you can't get back. I guess you can't get your uh, smell back can you not I wouldn't think so I I wouldn't know to be completely honest no who knows <laughs> cool well thanks Neve thanks Neve lovely question Neve next question Very here good. is from Sean um, do you ever want to do some sort of tour or private meet and greet uh, sure I'll just, do a tour. That fun. Just, I, I don't think uh, nobody. I don't think many people would turn up. No, no, I think it'd be a waste of time. I might as well just say, "I'm at the park. Come say hi if you're around." But even then, that's a bit creepy. So, no. I mean, if you're gonna I, do a tour sort of thing, you probably want to be like, like a tour slash private meet and greet thing related to each other. You know, you want to exactly. be like, I don't know, Will and E level if you're doing it YouTube wise. Or Dan TDM if you want, like, stadium size, you know? Or, yeah. Or uh, arena size, even. I think for me, the answer is, do I want to? Yes. Will it ever happen? Probably not, unless I suddenly get famous out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, you can come on a music one with me if you want. Yeah, that's fine by me. Let's do <laughs> yeah, it. Let's go. Let's do it. Got to get a hit song first. Uh, now, we'll let someone else do that. 
<laughs> Let someone else pay for our hotels. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That can be the private meet and greet. They can pay for the hotel. <laughs> that just sounds dodgy, Kai. They're not going to stay with us. That still sounds dodgy. <laughs> free hotels oh, are free hotel. Oh, <laughs> if that's true <laughs> cool thanks Sean thanks Sean Chloe CNJ sucks at life on Twitter sent in if you had to change your name what would you change it to um my name would be Alan no I don't see, know I'm... I was going to do that joke but I was like nah I don't want to revive that again no oh, sorry that's my problem now no you, you know hello Alan I don't want to be Alan. I don't no, know. you just said it. I don't think I would. Yeah, I, I don't. I also don't think I would. I just had a quick thought of like one that I probably would change it to, but then I thought, hold on a minute, I associate that name with someone who wasn't too good. So no, it's. Well, who was it? <laughs> nah, nah, if I said it, no one would know, and oh. then everyone would be like, "Oh, what's the story?" And I'd be like, "This happened." I'd be like, "Oh," oh. and then you just move on with your day because it's so. No, nobody can relate to it. Yeah, I get that. Maybe like one percent of the population. I get that. Don't worry, we won't. We won't change our name to whoever that is. <laughs> um. Um. But other than that, like, I mean, Fraser is. Um. I'd say it's an uncommon name. I've met a few Frasers, but I'd say it's uncommon, right? Yeah. So. Uh. I'd probably change it to a name that you couldn't easily claim on Twitter. Because <laughs> I can't actually get my full name and I can't get my shortened name and Twitter's not responding. And like, you could get Kairos Best before you got suspended. And that's because I'm the only Kairos Best in the world. Exactly. Whereas there's many Fraser Johnsons in the world. And it's a bit annoying. So I changed my name to something that I could claim on Twitter quite easily on any social platform. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But the answer is no, really. I'm fine with Fraser. Yeah, I think, I don't know, we, we, we like our names. Um, only reason I would change my name is if I was going like under an alter ego or something like that, you know? To oh, do like, like Rye, a new project. Rye Boss Kess. No, 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 I mean like if I was doing like a new project and I wanted like a different name, you know? Just for the project. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, I'm really not interested in having a different name at all. That's fair enough. Yeah. So, and that was thanks, a good Chloe. question, actually. Yeah, good question, Chloe. Uh, will you ever do a podcast episode with like friends and fans from Jess? Um, yeah, I think that's the easy answer to that. Really, yeah. I mean, it's it's always difficult when you include more people because, like, me and Kai sometimes struggle to even get either of us in a call to do it. Yeah, because we're all busy. The more people you add, the more schedules you need to work around. Yeah, so, and the biggest thing as well. Stuff, Oh, no, you go yeah. first. You go first. No, with friends and stuff, you can kind of, like, predict. Like, let's just say Sherry's coming on. Obviously, there's quarantine right now, but... um, Lockdown right now, sorry. But if she had, like, a tattooing job, you know she'd be available in the evenings. Whereas um, someone like Aiden, um, he does pub work. So he wouldn't be available some evenings. He would only be available in the day. So, like, it's easy to predict. But then when you include um, listeners and viewers... It's completely unpredictable. And the the other thing which I find pretty important when it comes to the podcast is you need to ensure that the people hosting have compatibility. So me and Kai, we bounce off each other. We can carry on talking. We can keep conversation going. Vibe. All right, that fuck was me bouncing off of you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But you get you get it. You can re- you can revive a topic. You can pick up from where the other person left off. You can keep the conversation flowing. You can keep it entertaining. You can keep it listenable. Whereas if you throw in, let's just say you throw in another friend you don't talk to regularly, you can still kind of pick up and you can still keep going. You can still make something. If you throw in someone who you've never really talked to, or in this case a listener, if they're not confident and they're shy, it might be very difficult to keep something going, and it might feel awkward, and it might not be entertaining to listen to. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's like you gotta make sure that you can all you can all like talk to each other fine. I mean, I'm not the most confident person talking to random people, you know. No, yeah, um, same. I may appear it, but I'm not always yeah. socially what is it? Socially compatible with people. Yeah. So I mean I mean we could, but like we can force ourselves to do it. I mean we usually do force ourselves and generally we 
I mean, it's not even forcing ourselves. It's just it comes out, isn't it? But like, say yeah. next to someone in person, it could be the most awkward thing ever. It's easy to do it on yeah. your computer. I love meeting new people, but it's hard to like grasp something. Yeah. So like on- online, for example, I-, I guess the good example for me is when I made um, the two line story game video where I yeah. got 20 people to write a story. Quite a few of these creators I've never talked to properly. Like um, Gizzy, for example, um, I'd never properly talked to him. Um, there's also Rosie Plays, never properly talked to her before. Um, and there's also Kate Cray, for example, I never properly talked to her before. So before we started recording, I just had a general chat to get a feel for like how conversation works with each of them. Yeah. Um, and then I could gauge it based on that, like actually record, do the video, um, and then get what it's do. But then it was also like just building up that social element that we didn't have before. Yeah, you it's want it really to difficult. And not saying we're in that position because I'm not. I'm well. I'm not in as much as that position. But obviously, people do look up to us. And I remember when I um, was new to like, the whole YouTube scene. I went to my first insomnia, met creators. I didn't know what to say to people I looked up to. Like the first, I think the first ever two, um, the first ever popular creators I met was Lizzie and John, and they were at Insomnia, uh, Insomnia Forty Nine, in the Minecraft zone. Mm-hmm. Um, I met them, and I was like, "Oh, you Lizzie and John, how's it going?" And I was like, "Can I take a picture of you?" And then I got them to sign something, and I really wanted to talk to them more, but I didn't know what to say. Yeah, and I'm worried that if I mean, you do even that when you with... become friends with these people, you still don't know what to say, do you? <laughs> exactly, exactly, and it's difficult when you look up to people and I'm not saying everyone looks up to us um, but and I'm not saying that people won't be compatible it's more of a case I don't want to sound condescending anyway of this because I remember listening to that Twitch stream it was like I see myself as a higher level of status above everybody <laughs> I was like what the fuck you're a dick I'm not trying to put myself across like that I'm trying to say like it, a, po- a podcast is entertaining when people can bounce off each other and the risk of it like i'd be happy to build up some sort of friendship with people but the risk of doing a podcast and it not being good and being awkward because we weren't able to find some common social ground is too much for me yeah did i put that across in a non-dickish way yes Okay, good. I worry about that a lot because, like, when, whenever you talk about things like from where you are, I always worry that I'm saying things like, "Oh no, I'm a lot better than people." Uh, screw you all, you peasants. No, but it, it makes sense what you said, especially like when, when like if, especially like you do have those friends where you don't speak to them as much, or even if you speak to them like really well with someone else in the room when you're alone with them, for example, it's just a bit. Yeah. Like sometimes you run out of things to say. I have that with some of our friends. Um, yeah. And like you, you end up going quite quiet or something like that, f- just because you don't know what to do. Yeah, um, I guess a really good comparison example of this is if you were in school and you were assigned a project to do, and you had to get in groups. You would get in groups with your friends because you can easily, let's just say, you've got a good work ethic. You easy, you know what each person can do. You know their strengths and weaknesses. You know you're gonna be able to get it done. Whereas if the teacher randomly shuffles you with people and you work with people you don't know, you're not gonna communicate that well because you don't oh, talk, God, you don't know yeah. them that well. And you know you might end up doing all the project work and they might do nothing. That's the best example I could probably give, actually. You know what? When when I first went to college, yeah. Um, on our first day, we got put into random groups because they they went like, "All right, we know you like your friendship groups. That's where you are sat. Um, but we're gonna give you numbers: one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, and right, we split yeah. into like groups or whatever from those numbers. I didn't know anyone in my group, so I just kind of smiled and looked at them. <laughs> it's just awkward, isn't it? Yeah, and then like a few weeks later, once you like start getting the idea of them, you can start talking to all of them and whatnot. You know, you don't know like their humor level. You don't know certain people's like uh humor you don't know how to have a proper conversation with them just yet until you've like had a few encounters you know yeah so yeah you got a good example there i th- I think that's the best way you can put it so like it's a possibility e- but we can't... don't expect anything yeah but if we think of a format which would work and it would work well then yes but because the podcast to us is like a project that we want to do well in school it might not happen. Yeah. I think that's the best way I can put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. 
But otherwise, that was a good question because that really got us talking. And now let's so, shut uh... up for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jess, cracking question. Thanks for that. Thanks, Jess. Who read that one up? Was that you or me? I think I read it out. Yeah, I think you did as well. Okay, Kia sent in, what's your favourite vegetable? Carrot. Yeah, carrot. Cool, thanks, Kia. Ingrid <laughs> sent in, what's your favourite vegetable? <laughs> A cucumber. I actually have cucumbers. <laughs> I like sweet corn. I like sweet corn too. Yeah. Ingrid did not send that in, by the way. <laughs> no, she didn't. What did Ingrid send in? Oh yeah, I'm reading it. Uh, if yeah. you could be an animal, which animal would you be? My animal would be... Quokka. <laughs> Quokka's a good animal. I love Quokkas. Quokkas are fantastic. They've been my favourite animal ever since I discovered they existed. I'd be a cat. Fair enough. Sleep for like 18 hours a day. Eat. Get a stroke. Sleep again. Yeah. Repeat. Play. <laughs> Eat, sleep, stroke, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. Yeah, I think that's that's the easiest. Uh, I'd love to be a cat. I mean, you don't have to pay any rent either. That's very true. You get quite a bit of freedom. And even if you do get kicked out, you can live quite a good independent life. Yeah. There's a mouse. Yeah. Counts. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Ingrid. <laughs> Thanks, Ingrid. Uh, Jess, art and music. Oh, that's a good one. I'm saying this, actually, because for you, Kai. Um, she said, Ooh. I've started playing electric guitar after acoustic for five years. How can I improve my solos? See... I didn't really learn how to do much solo stuff until, I don't know, a few years ago. Um, I, I guess the best way to do it is just practice. I mean, everyone's got different methods of learning stuff. So me personally, I like to just see what I can come up with by just playing, you know? Um, you'll know if something sounds bad. Um, like, I, I can give you a good example right now. I'll grab my guitar. I'll grab my acoustics, it's just here. Um, and if I played like, uh, I don't know, if I played... That sounds okay, yeah? Whereas if I played... It still sounds alright, actually. <laughs> um, I don't know, y you can kind of get the idea. So like, if I went from... You can tell that sounds bad, because that does not add up in music you can get the idea of what sounds best just from playing really i've never learned any like specific things on how to do it but i guess just just play see if you like something if you do have a little record of it so you've got a memory of it um and then after that uh hope that it sounds better and just keep hoping that it sounds better and better i mean you can search up different ways on youtube and <laughs> People say learn your fretboard. I mean, I haven't learned my fretboard, really, so... Just do whatever you feel best, really. Play solos of songs that are your favourites. Learn them. Go off of them. Get some inspiration from them. So on, so on. It sounded like from your example... Um, obviously, I know nothing about guitar, so I'm just talking music in general. It sounded <laughs> like you were saying, in a way... First, get an ear for the music, so know what sounds good, what sounds bad, yeah. and then once you've got an ear for it, um, you should you can be able to hear what sounds a bit rough, for example, like you did the very plucky example, and yeah. then what sounds smooth, like your first example. So it sounds like get an ear for it, and then practice until you refine it, until it's just smooth and free flowing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, after like after you keep playing it, you you get the idea eventually. Um, obviously there's always going to be times where you mess up like one or two notes, maybe even five, I don't know um, but if you keep playing something keep playing something and keep playing it over and over again you can hear in your head like you can just physically hear if you have like a background song or something like that on you can hear what works best practice makes perfect yeah, I mean uh, no one's going to be perfect at playing an instrument, it's just keep doing it until you can't <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> keep doing know. it until you can <laughs> well you know if you, if you can't do it maybe you've lost your hand oh my god 
Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Uh, next question here is from Kelsey, who says, what's your dream pet? Quokka. I knew you'd say question. that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about you? I, I don't know. I mean, Quokka's not a realistic one because they live on an island and they're indigenous. So it's like, what what is a realistic pet? I've got a dog. I've had parrots. I've had fish and still do have fish. I just keep forgetting they exist because they came with the house and they weren't really our pets. <laughs> um, I've had a hamster. I don't know. I mean, you want a hedgehog? See, that would be cool to be honest. You can't although get it wouldn't work. Yeah, I get you. I don't know. I I love dogs. Dogs are fun. Uh, they're very fun pets. Um, so I think I'd still stick with that. But if we're going with like ambitious ones, which are impossible, but it's still a dream, Quokka, because they're cute and cuddly and they smile. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, I think for me, obviously, I've just got a dog. Um. And I love him to pieces, but he is hard work. Generally, dogs are a lot harder work than cats. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd get another dog in the future. I, I might, like, when I'm older. um, Like, a lot older. Um, But I think after his time has passed, <laughs> um, I'd probably give it a, a while, you know? Um, yeah. Maybe... Well, if you think about it, by the time... That's just... Obviously, we don't really want to be thinking about dogs dying already, but by the time Coda, let's just say Coda goes at like 18, yeah, you're going to no, be. They only go to like 12. Do, what? Oh, really? That 12, breed only I goes think to it's 12, 12 to 14 or something like that. Still, you're going to be in your 30s. Yeah, I'm still young. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, I do like my mum's cats a lot, like Sphinx cats, so maybe oh, I'll yeah. go for some Sphinx cats after him, you know? That'd be a good shout. But, I mean, who knows? In. in 12 years or so we might have some random new hybrid of an animal like a parasky as a parrot husky yep it squawks and plays with balls it flies into lamps <laughs> chases cats but it has wings yep cats so worst cat nightmare <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, I think probably after like when I'm in my 30s I'd probably go for a sphinx cat yeah. Or a couple. Good idea. Because I, I know how to look after them already. I've looked after my mum's. Yeah. Good plan, in my opinion. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. very much, Kelsey. One more? Yeah. Ooh, I mean, I reckon we could probably finish this. All right, yeah, let's get We've got We've got three more lined up. I reckon we could probably finish this. Go on, then. Although I don't understand the last question, so you probably have to explain for me. Nah, um, I don't understand it either. We'll get rid of that one. <laughs> okay, so we only have two questions left. Um, <laughs> this one is from Sadie Loves Green Day, and um, Sadie said, "What are both of your biggest phobias?" She's got another question as well. But uh, what are both of your biggest phobias? Uh... At the moment, I don't have any. But when I was younger, I used to be shit scared of lifts because I got trapped. In, I got trapped. I got trapped in one uh, when I was about, I'd say eight. It was in a leisure center, and uh, I went up from the ground oh, floor yeah. to the top floor, and um, I was trapped. And I then, that. what do you mean you remember that? Well, I remember when we were at Nethermind, um, you wouldn't go in the lift. Oh no, I did go in the lift. You did eventually. I've been, I've, I've been well over the phobia for now. Like I've been well over it for years. Oh, so I probably didn't go in the lift because it was too full or something. I'm once scared of it. I haven't been scared of it for years. But I think we're talking like maybe eight till thirteen. I was shit scared. Right. Right. Probably. I think it was about that period. It, well, I say I was shit scared. I think for the first few years, I was like, nah, I'd rather avoid the lifts. But then 12 to 13, you know, if I could, I would, but otherwise I would go in, no problem. And then I've been fine ever since, to be honest. Aye, aye. Yeah. That's not bad. But um, yeah, other than that, no, I, I don't think I've got any right now, as far as I'm aware. I used to have a big fear of spiders. Don't really anymore. Don't like them, but I don't have a, I'm not like, if there's one in the room, I'm not scared of it for example yeah. um unless it was like tarantula size you know yeah <laughs> or the big boys don't like them still um i used to be terrified of thunderstorms oh really yeah i used to be absolutely terrified of them to the point where i would go as soon as one like God. happened you know and we had like a really bad one here uh oh, back in 2009 or something like that i think it was to the point where there was like purple lightning and stuff 
Oh, God. Um, I think it was purple. I can't remember. It was definitely coloured. Um, and it was awful. It, it lasted for like eight hours as well. Oh, and wow. uh, we had ducks at the time <laughs> in our garden and we couldn't get outside to go and close the pen and put them in. So they're going out there like whack, 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 like running around in the garden in the oh, rain and no. the thunderstorm. Uh, so I used to be terrified of them. Love them now to the point where I'll go, I'll happily go for a drive and like follow one, you know? Um, yeah. I'll go to the beach and look at it in the sky and whatnot. Um, absolutely love them. Um, I kind of got out of that when I was like probably 10, 11. Yeah. Um, and nowadays I'm not really too scared of that anything. I, I think the biggest thing is obviously I don't want to lose friends. <laughs> yeah. But that's it really. And then the other question that Sadie submitted was if the other person were to go to prison, what do you think they'd have done to get there? You would have violated copyright and got suspended from life. <laughs> You've been thinking of that one. <laughs> I have. Because I'm sat here like, oh, I have no idea. What would Fraser go to prison for? Uh, no, let me think of a realistic one. What would you have done? You probably would have got into a fight at a gig because of some prick getting too rowdy in the uh, crowds. Yeah, maybe. That's probably the only thing that I could think of. Otherwise, you wouldn't hurt a fly. No, I'm, I'm kind of lazy with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have time to hurt flies. <laughs> I have time to whack it out of the way, to be honest. But even then, it's too fast, you know? Yeah. Um, you, I reckon you'd probably shout at someone and it would escalate from there or something. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds... Like pro- probably Doable. not not something from your like fault, but like they've done something. You shout at them, they get rowdy, and try and start a fight or something. Retaliation. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that sounds. Probably. Yeah. It, it won't happen, but it sounds like the most likely thing. Yeah. I can't imagine you getting in trouble for anything really. Cool. Say, Good question. Anything. I can't imagine you getting in trouble. Full stop. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll prove you wrong, Kai. Watch me tomorrow. I can't. Okay, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sadie, for the questions. Thanks, Sadie. The final uh, last one. one. Did you read that one or did I? Uh, I read that one. All right. Last one here is from Lauren. Do you watch or do any sports? If so, which ones? I don't really do sports. I used to be interested in tennis. Yep. Not really that much anymore. And I'm lazy, and I haven't done any sports since I left school. Fair enough. Uh, in school, I really liked the ones with the bat, you know? So, yeah. Uh, anything like cricket or softball or baseball, anything like that, I used to love it because I could smack the ball quite far. <laughs> and yeah. I, I'm good at running in general as well. Um, uh, I, I'm going to blame that one because I'm just quite skinny. Right, yeah. Um, I used to be good at discus, surprisingly. When it came yeah. to sports day, I used to be good at discus. I think I came first. Discus or second. is the one where you throw the disc, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You um, you get like a UFO shaped thing. It's really heavy. Yeah. And then you um, it's kind of like a shot putt, but you do it with a disc instead. Yeah, I know what you're on about. I used to be good at that, surprisingly. Um, and I used to ah, oh, I used to also be good at running. My stamina's like properly gone downhill since I've done yeah, nothing. Yeah, same. But same. my stamina was great, and I used to be good at running. So people would always volunteer me when I didn't want to do it for like the four hundred meter sprints and stuff. Yeah, and like eight hundred um, meter, and then the mile long one and whatever else. Exactly. I didn't mind doing um, oh, what's the one where it's four people? Four by one hundred. Yeah. What, what's it officially called? The re. That's it. I didn't mind doing the relays and stuff because you could distribute the load. Even if you did like two laps, you could still give it to someone and then you'll get given it later on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I used to be good at that. Now I'm just fat and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. You know what? I, I was really good at javelin, yeah? And, oh, uh, I love long javelin. Jump. Yeah. And um, also rock climbing. Really good at rock climbing. Oh, we never did and rock climbing in high school. 
we had a rock climbing wall in ours. Um, we, ha- I, we had we had one as well, but it was just one. never used. Oh. It was as if like it was there, and then maybe some health and safety regulations prevented it because oh, it wasn't maybe. like a proper rock climbing wall. It was the building was designed to have bricks as rock climbing walls there. Like it right. was, you could see like there's bricks sticking out purposely to make it be a rock climbing wall. But I reckon that was something which stopped them from using it anymore. Right, right, I get that. No, that we had one wall on the rock climbing wall in our school. Um, right, which was like kind of bent round and stuff up to the ceiling and whatnot and i was the only right. one in my class i could actually do it oh um, nice and um when we went to france and italy with our school as well let me reset oh that. someone's got to okay, be <laughs> <laughs> when we went to france and italy with our school um they had a rock climbing like actual wall and whatnot yeah, and I think I was the only one that could actually get to the top of that wall as well. So I was really good at rock climbing in general. Nice. Um, uh, so I, I think I was quite good at sport, but I don't watch any. The only thing I do watch sport wise is the Olympics. Yeah. Oh god, you can't not really, 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 really. really, really, really. <laughs> you can't not. It's it's so good. I'm a bit gutted that the 2020 one's been postponed to next yeah, year. Yeah, me too. Of coronavirus, because that would have been good. Japan's hosting that. Yeah, I mean, the, I can imagine, I can imagine like their opening ceremony being amazing and having like, probably, the, I'm sure they have like a Mario segment and whatnot as well. Oh, 100%. They teased it at the Rio in 2016. Yeah. So, yeah, they've got to. I'm, I yeah. can't wait for it. Do you know what? 2012, I still miss those days a lot. The London 2012 Olympics. Yeah, me too. I went to, I went to two. One of them was a football match in Cardiff. Um, Olympic football and then the second lot that I went to was the Paralympics in the actual Olympic Stadium mm. and going and seeing that I'm so glad that I got to experience it yeah I bet it's oh god it was so cool and I remember the um, Olympics opening st- uh, ceremony quite well not everything obviously but I just ah do you, do you know what sucks they promoted it as if it was going to properly change a generation for sport yeah. and then schools didn't adapt schools didn't take on board the olympics as motivation and everyone um kind of looked at the olympics and just thought well we're not gonna do anything different to what we did before obviously it inspired some people but you know it, it, it's a shame that like sports and health wasn't properly amped up and promoted during the olympics because that would have been like a perfect time to do it yeah i get that i get that I, I do want to see the... I, I, I saw there was a thing where the, the now 2021 Olympics were... Gonna, they're going to be cancelled if they don't happen next year, like, completely. Really? Oh, man. Yeah. Which is, like, the first cancellation since the war, I'm pretty the sure. War, yeah. Um, I mean, it's already been postponed. It's the first postponed since the war. Um, so for it to be, like, the first cancelled one since the war, that's pretty big, especially seeing the war was, like, what, like... 75 years ago was it yeah well 1945 was the end of it so 75 yeah it was 75 christ um Good quick maths well i just remembered veterans day was <laughs> a few weeks ago yeah that's true <laughs> um so i'm really hoping it's not because i do i do like watching some of it unless coronavirus is still around i don't see it being cancelled again yeah i i think by that point it's probably gonna at least have died out you'd hope so I mean, we're seeing we're seeing it dying out now, within reason. Um, yeah. So time crossed. will tell. We shall see. Yeah. Cool. Well, and on that note, thanks, Lauren. By the way, for the question. And thanks, on that Lauren. note, that's the end of the podcast. A nice forty-nine, fifty-minute one first week. Yeah, and we got through all the questions. We did. We did, except for the one which we deleted, which no one will know which that is. <laughs> we're we're confused. That's we didn't we understand the confused. question. Yeah. Well, that was a nice one to end on. Good little topics in that one. It was. All very conversational topics. Yeah. Thank so, you, yeah. everyone, for listening to this week's episode of... <laughs> uh, remember to tweet us what your favourite vegetable is uh, at Stuck in a Podcast. We'd love to know. We really don't. We couldn't care less. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm desperate to know. All right, tweet phrase then at Ivex is HD. Don't tweet the at podcast account because uh, nah, tweet the podcast. We account, don't because we both don't care. Fraser really uh, wants to know though. 
What do you mean we both? You're saying the podcast counts like a separate person. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> uh, if you want to send anything else over our way, uh, specific topics that we can talk about in general, please send them over to our podcast Twitter, at Stucker Podcast, because uh, it, we're still not going outside, so there's not really too much we can talk about, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit dry up in this world now. Like, to give you an idea, on next week's, like, things, we've only got three things, and they're not the most interesting things. No. I've like, got a couple of, of other ideas. Duolingo. But, like, yeah, it, it's not like we can talk about stories at the moment anyway, or at least current stories, until our memory's jogged. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's pretty difficult. I've been home for, as of today, date of recording, 25th of May, I've been home for two months, one week, and one day. Yeah. And I've not left the house for anything other than the bank twice and a funeral. So it's it's really dry up in my life right now. God, the way you said bank, you went bank! <laughs> bank! It's like playing the weakest link. Uh, <laughs> bank! Answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice weekend. All week, whatever it is. I don't know. Go find out. And don't forget to bank. Bank. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs>